Islam. We care about humanity. That's good. That's a good thing to yes, care. that's why I said if you kill one innocent life, it's like you kill the whole mankind. Yeah, you shouldn't kill innocent. Yes, and I, I told you before, even during the battle, Allah told us in the Quran, if the enemies incline and seek peaceful, we have to incline and give them peaceful. That's good. Even during the battle. Yes, you care about them. Also, Allah told us, people think Muslims, Quran teaches, wherever you see non-Muslims, kill them. That's totally wrong. If that's the case, Prophet had neighbors, non-Muslims. Do you respect other religions? I have to respect, I cannot insult them. Allah like, told, told me in the Quran, I cannot insult their religion. I cannot like, I insult. I believe it, but like respect. Uh, yeah, I have to yeah. respect. I have to respect. Allah told me I cannot insult their religion. That's good. Even when I'm debating, I have to debate with them in a way that shows wisdom. Respect, respect and wisdom. Respect. Unless the person is showing negative behavior, then I have to stand for myself. No, yeah, if someone's hating on your religion, shut up yourself. Yes. But, so do you understand? Yeah. When they say Allah Akbar, people think there's a terror attack here. The definition of we just say Allah Akbar. Akbar. The definition of Allah Akbar means God is great. When we see something that, when we hear something that, when we hear good news, yeah. we say Allah Akbar or oh, Subhanallah. Glory be to Allah. So like God gave you the good news. Yes. We say Allah Akbar, God is great. I don't believe sister here, Christians here, here, everyone. I don't believe I just come to you and bomb myself. Even bombing yourself is haram. Killing yourself in Islam is haram. You go straight to hell. So whatever you do, people, whatever they do, and they is a Muslim, I don't believe it's been about Muslim. I believe every person who does something bad and it's got nothing to do with his religion, I'm not going to blame his religion. Like the Bible says, do not kill innocent lives. Yeah. If I see a Christian killing innocent life, I'm not blaming his religion. I'm blaming that person. Every culture has yes. bad people. It's yes. Yeah, that's culture. all I believe. Yeah. Also, I believe some people believe, and um, you know, they believe like racism. They believe white are bad people, or Arabs are bad people, Africans are bad people. I, can't do that. I don't believe that. No. Just because of one person, I cannot blame the whole nation. Do you know what Prophet told me? What? He said. Do not criticize a whole tribe. Yeah. Each person has their own it's haram in Islam right. to criticize generalize. a person's tribes or generalize because of one matter or because of one person. Now Prophet told us there's no superiority Arabs over black, black over white, white over blacks, over black. Yeah, Prophet told us everyone is equal the best one of us is the one who is kind towards Allah. How can you be kind towards Allah? Yes, because Allah is asking us to show kindness to the non-Muslims, to Muslims, everyone. It's not just saying, oh, you're not Muslim, oh, you are Muslim, I'm giving you charity. Yeah. If I see a non-Muslim starving outside, yeah, and I see a Muslim who is smoking cigarette, and he's asking me for charity, I'm not going to give that a Muslim. You, you know why? Because I give it who deserves it. Yeah, that's good. See? That's good thing, yeah. So we always put the balance, yeah, the scale, which one has more rights than the other one. So that's why I'm saying social media giving bad image about Islam. 100%, yeah. 100%. Yeah. And I'm saying whatever happens, some Muslims do to non-Muslims, like explode, doing explosion, like but in Manchester attack, and when I give you example, yeah. there's nowhere in the Quran or in the Hadith it says that. No, Prophet told us, man. even during the battle, Prophet guided us, instructed us, do not kill innocent, do not kill, as I said before, all the people, children, infants, do not burn someone, do not cut the trees. He told us, so how can I kill someone without battle? outside the battle. I can't. So someone who went to Manchester and bombing innocent lives, it's uh, uh, got nothing to do with Islam. Yeah. I disagree with him. Yeah. Is that, are, are those people who are the ones who went to Libya? Or let's say the guy was a Libyan, as they said. 
So it's got to do with Libya. Is uh, those the, the, those people who died in that explosion in Manchester? Are those people who went in Libya and attacked his people? They are not. They are not the ones who attacked his people. And went to Libya, yes. So why would he kill them? It's like me attacking someone now. Someone ki killed my brother, and I w I go and attack non-Muslims, infants, or women, or all the people, innocent lives, and I kill them. That's, not, That's wrong. Not right. No, it's not right. If you are the real man, go fight with the people who is fighting against you. Yeah. Not with the innocent lives. Yeah. If you want to like go back, go to people that hurt. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if someone is bombing mosque, shall I go to the church? <laughs> See? So that we have to always we have to show kindness. Islam is not about killing, it's not about murdering, it's not about and uh, punishing people, it's about to share the message of Allah, to come to the to Islam. If you don't want to, that's up to you. What's your standpoint? No, no, she doesn't believe in any religion. Yeah. So I do you understand now? <laughs> so, so now what I suggest to you, I would advise you to recite the Quran, to get the Quran, and I will ask the brothers. Do you see outside there? Yeah. There are, some of the brothers are there who is giving out the books about Islam for free. You don't need to buy it. It's for free. I mean, yeah, I'd read it before I... Yeah, anything you would like to know about Islam. And I told you, Islam, this, it's not about harsh. It's not about being harsh. It's not about being harsh. Yeah, it's about being kind and calling people to Islam. We are trying because Prophet told me I have to love others for others as what I love for myself. Because I want yeah. to be saved from hellfire. I want Allah to be happy with me. So I want same for you. So you want it for everyone? No yes. No, I want same for you. If I'm guided by Allah, I want you to be guided by Allah. Yeah, we don't like force. No, not force. There's no force in Islam. There's no force enforcement in Islam. I cannot force you. No, I cannot force you. All I have to do is to convey the message and tell you about the is about Islam. Yeah, about about Islam, about Allah and Prophet Muhammad and the message of Islam. Then if you accept it, that's my pleasure. Because I get the same reward as you would get. Yeah, from Allah. From Allah. Anything we do in Islam, we have to do for the sake of Allah. If you do for the sake of money, for the sake of worldly life, you get no reward towards Allah. Yeah, if you do it for a selfish reason. Yes. Rather than... Yes. So let's say now, if I'm giving out to charity, if I'm giving out charity, and I'm not paying for the sake of other, um, I'm not paying for the sake of Allah, then my charity is unacceptable. If you're paying it for Allah. Because I'm showing off. Yeah. If I praise Allah, if I want to worship Allah, and I'm showing off, my prayer is unacceptable. So whatever you do in Islam, you have to do for the sake of Allah.